All right, guys, welcome to phase one of the program where we're going to be going over and talking fundamentals. So again, this is something that over the past 10 years of working out myself and the past four years of training clients, I've kind of compacted everything necessary that you need to be able to program on your own. So again, I'm talking to the beginner to intermediate type of people here. I'm talking to the 70% of Americans that are overweight or obese. I'm talking to those of us that don't really know where the hell to begin when it comes to stuff like this. So I have gotten rid of as much fluff as I possibly can. Because again, this is not a program in the sense that a doctor would prescribe a pill. This is empowerment. This is the definition of that. This is giving you what you need to achieve your own success. So if you follow these steps, we're gonna get you to the point where you can just program things on your own. But you gotta know the base fundamentals of, of how exercise works and how diet works. You have to get a small grasp and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you, uh, these are the big things to tackle when you're beginning this. So the very first concept I need you guys to embed into your mind, into your body is this idea of consistency over intensity. So let's be real, like we're just trying to make it to the next day sometimes, y'all. And that's what this is about. If you don't like something or if it's too hard, you're not going to stick with it. So over, I've heard a lot of people express trainers that they don't like because they just killed them in the gym. Killed them, you know, like everyone knows that stereotypical ego trainer that just wants to kill you. And to be honest, some people like that, but I would suggest most don't. So we need to make it to the next day. Train in a way that lets you make it to the next day. Because this is the way that we build habits. Because at the end of the day, this is a habit building process. The reason why a lot of people don't stick with programs is because they're being shoved into their lives instead of integrating them like a puzzle piece. So the way that we're gonna develop this is through something called habit stacking, where I want y'all to do something every day. This is the way you develop consistency. Now, I've been dealing with a chronic injury for about 14 months, chronic pain injury for about 14 months. And I know that a lot of people, especially as you start to get older, resonate heavily with this. And it's hard when you think about what's required to actually get up and get into the gym. You're like, this is just too much. So what we're trying to do initially is develop this sense of consistency, daily discipline that allows you to stack on top of it. So for example, one of the things that have humbled me a lot being this injury is the idea that uh, I would wait, you know, you'd wake up, get all pumped up, hype, drink your water, maybe, okay, who gets pumped up and hype when they get up? What I'm saying is initially I had this idea that I would do a lot when I got up in the morning, but what I needed in the beginning was just to get on the floor. So I thought I would get up, do some stretching, go for a walk, blah, blah, blah. No, the only thing I could handle with this injury right now is sitting on, laying on the floor. So my daily stack begins with get up and lay on the floor. It's not that difficult, but we can add to it, right? And it's something that you can begin to, ah, yes, I can do this, right? For some people, um, at putting a few alarms on throughout the day, and then when the alarm on your phone goes off, set a particular tone, when that tone goes off, drink some water, right? There's things that we need to start doing daily because the you that is the strongest version of you the healthy version of you, you have to do the things now if you want to turn into him. So the invitation is small first, consistency first. So when it comes to actually getting inside, if anyone's ever had a trainer before, it's like, how do we come up with this type of stuff? How are we actually starting to program your workouts? What are we doing? Well, I have created something I call the five workout dials, which is a little stupid because there's only four but it fits for the acronym here. So when the very first question that you just need to ask yourself is how many days a week am I willing to commit to some form of resistance training? Obviously up here, we're looking for something small every day, right? To build the discipline. But when it comes to how many days we're looking at working out, right? Some people it's one to two, your program's gonna look a little bit different than if it's four to five. And this is just the very base place that you start. The next style is intensity. How hard is the work that you're doing? And these two kind of correlate intensity and volume because volume is how much total work that you're doing. So they're inversely correlated. 
Because if you're doing hard work, you typically can't do a lot of it. And the very last one that I add in is called excitement. Do you actually like what you're doing? Do you enjoy your workouts? Do you dread going to the gym every day? Or are there some things you actually don't mind, right? You may have a whole workout and look, some people I know look forward to bench press. I mean, it's like national, Monday is national chest day for a reason. People like the feeling of the pump here when they're working out. So some people hate days, leg days, some people like them. But what do you like? Are you actually enjoying it, right? So this is sort of how you tune your own program to fit your needs. So for example, I have a client in my 60s who she's not working out a lot of days a week for resistance training, but her intensity is high and she really likes what she does. So her weight is heavier and she really enjoys it and she feels super strong doing it. Our volume isn't that high and our frequency isn't that high, but it fits her right now. Right, so we just, it's about understanding that that's the framework for developing your stuff. So with that said, and again, I'm talking to the beginner to intermediate people here. If you're advanced, you already know what you're doing. The details matter more to you. But when we're talking about getting yourself into this, details don't matter. They don't matter. And this is my claim at the bottom here. Your goals don't matter initially, guys. They really don't. To some degree, you can close your eyes, pick a program at random, follow it for six months, and you will see results. But the idea is to integrate this into your life. How do we do that? So there's only two workout splits that I need you to think about. And that is, am I working my whole body every workout or am I going to split it into two pieces, my upper body and my lower body? And this is very simple, right? It's a very simple way to start. So a lot of people, should I do chest and back? Maybe I do buys and tries. Maybe I should do arms today. There's so many different types of splits, just like there's so many different types of workouts. And again, the word split just means how are we splitting up our weeks? How are we splitting up our muscle groups? Whole body, upper, lower. That's it. So you're going to pick from one of these two. And that mostly depends on your frequency. Because if you're working out five days a week, you can't probably hit every muscle every day. Right? So when it comes to the only goal that actually really does matter and, and what factors in here is, and this is TDEE total daily energy expenditure, which is just a fancy way of saying what's your metabolism. So if you're trying to lose weight, we need to eat about three to 500 calories less than our resting rate. If we want to build some muscle, usually three to 500 calories more per day. So th this is generally it, but I'm telling you guys, no matter what your goals are, if you follow this type of framework, you're going to be able to see success because when they say it's like 80% diet, they're saying that there's a quality of the diet that matters. If you can lose weight and build muscle at the same time, if the quality of your food is high and you're getting enough protein. So there's none of this like, you don't need to dirty bulk and then cut and then, I mean, beginner to intermediate people, again, this is what I'm telling you, mud, the majority of Americans here, guys, the majority of people on this earth are gonna benefit intensely from this. So these are the fundamentals. If you can, I would take notes, meditate, think about these things within this framework because these are how we're going to draw. We're gonna draw from a little bit of this, understand and recognize some patterns, and eventually be able to program some stuff on your own. So I'll catch you all in the next video.